Welcome to episode 7 of the Debut Challenge, my England Football Manager 2016 series. And today marks the start of Euro 2016. I'm going to be playing all three group games in this episode. So we've got Denmark first, then we've got Serbia, and then we've got Italy. Not the easiest group in the world, but certainly not the hardest group. And I fancy my chances to at least finish second in this group and get through to the next round of the competition. Now, in the comment section below, I would like you to let me know the future of this series. Now, there's two options. Um, I'll, I'll also put a straw poll in the description below for you to vote on as well. But the first question in this episode, I'm hoping we go a few more episodes, by the way, just so I can ask you some more questions. But the first question is, should I end this series at the end of year 2016, whenever I finish, if I go out in the second round, quarterfinal, semi-final, whatever, just end it once I'm out of Euro 2016 or do you want me to continue to the 2018 World Cup now the details as to which players I select for that we can decide at, at a later date if there's enough interest in this series this is my short term series but I'm willing to let it go on for another couple of years um, alongside the Golden Journeyman Challenge if you haven't checked that out please check that out be much appreciated that's my long term save uh, but once this England series is over, I will start another short-term save with a different team and it will just be, you know, for a season or two with a, a certain team. So vote in the straw poll, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and hit that like button as well, that would be much appreciated. So those three things, lots of favours from you today, but it would be much appreciated if you can help me out. So Denmark then, in our first game in the group, they're going to be playing Lord Bentner up front, I'm sure, and Christian Eriksen, who could be uh, dangerous certainly could be dangerous against us. So this is the team I'm going with to take on Denmark. I'm going with Fodderingham in goal. I'm going to put him as the main keeper for this competition unless he plays really badly, simply because he had such a good season for Rangers this season. Joel Ward, Eric Dyer, Jake Cooper at the back, simply because Scott Dan is tired. He needs a rest, which is when you get to this stage of the season, obviously they've played long seasons for their club and now they're also having to play a competition. They're going to be tired. I'm going to have to play tired players at some point. But I thought I'd give Jake, Jake Cooper played so well in his debut against Mongolia. I think he can fill in for Scott Dan whilst he recovers ahead of the next game. Mark Noble, the captain in defensive midfield. We've got James Ward Prowse as a deep line playmaker. Deli Alley in the Roman playmaker role. Alex Pritchard, who has had an, had an incredible first two games for England, five goals in his first two games. Jordan Ibe on the left hand side as the inside forward and Danny Ings up front as the lone striker let's hope he can score a goal and get his second goal for England today so we are the bookies favorites today despite the fact perhaps my team is weaker than it should be going into the Euros uh, if you have not if you've just clicked on this video and have no idea what this uh, series is about then maybe check out the other videos first but I'm not playing players that earned an England cap before the start of FM16. So that's why I've got this strange looking England lineup. So here we go, that, that's the Danish lineup. You can see Ericsson and Bentner playing, and Victor Fischer as well is going to be dangerous, I'm sure. Da Daniel Agger still playing for Denmark, and Kasper Schmeichel as well. They've got a decent team, they, they really do. And Bentner does score goals at international level, no matter what you think of him. He is pretty deadly for Denmark. Okay, let's get on with it. I just realised something. We're missing someone. Colin the Lion, of course, the mascot of the series since a couple episodes ago so let's start the match and see how we get on against Denmark then good start from us here Danny Ings running forwards over to Pritchard and it's a good tackle at the back from Denmark and here they go on the counter attack but Deli Alley cuts in nicely but still a highlight here Deli Alley through to Danny Ings what's he gonna do here nice ball to Alex Pritchard Pritchard Ibe oh we've scored in the 35th second of the game of the of Euro 2016 and I becomes the top scorer of the series I think great ball from Danny Ings and then Pritchard with a great cross another assist for him and I with another tapping goal so a long throw from Denmark are they gonna get back into this game after our fantastic start and oh Fodderingham with an excellent save from Nicholas Bentner that was a world-class save Ericsson with the corner they're on top here Dyer comes in, can we counter here, into Danny Ings, play it out wide, play it out wide, there we go, Ward Prowse eventually out wide to Pritchard, 
into Joel Ward. Can he could have go? Oh, Danny Ings scores 2 0. We get lucky deflection, and Danny Ings, second goal for England. He's had a good start to the game. Great counter attack from us in the end, and it was a, an inviting ball. Knudsen headed it against his own play, and Danny Ings stuck it in the back of the net. Another highlight then. Can we get a third? It's out wide to Joel Ward, who's been really dangerous today. Back to Mark Noble. Good ball in. Ibe. Near post save from Schmeichel. And we've won a corner. It's been pretty equal in statistically in this game. But we are 2-0 up and playing really well. Especially on the counter-attack. Ward into Cooper. And that's the end of that highlight. Will Jen might be able to get a goal back before half-time? Hopefully not. I probably need to calm it down a bit now. Rather than just go in attacking. But here... Oh, Creswell needs to be careful. He's on a yellow. And Bentner scores. <laughs> I managed to get him score to score in my Arsenal series, those of you that watched it. And he scored against me now. And it's 2-1 and they're back in the game. And to be fair, they've had seven shots. They probably deserve to, to be back in the game. Good finish at the near post from him. And so half-time, it's 2-1 to us. It's a decent first half of the Euros for us. Uh, but we need to... We need to keep it up. And I'm actually going to take Aaron Creswell off. Simply because he's on a yellow. Not having the best of games. Danny Rose is going to come on for him. And I'm going to change the tactic up a bit. We're going to go standard. Just calm it down a bit more. Normal defensive line. And we will calm down the tempo slightly. And just, just try and calm the game down in general. I think you get my gist of things here. Because there's no need to go gun ho flying into tackles and high tempo when we've got the advantage okay another highlight on the 50th minute mark Ali does well there Ibe into Danny Ings lovely ball to Pritchard oh what a finish great goal 3-1 up that's his sixth goal for England in four appearances oh wow He's, he's done wonders for me. I, I was right to put him in the squad despite not playing a huge amount of game time for Spurs. That's a great volley. First time hit. Into the bottom left-hand corner. Lovely stuff. Wow. The front three have been magnificent today. All of them scoring and a, two of them getting assists as well. It's a corner to Denmark. And we clear it temporarily. Here they are again though. Looking dangerous. Can we get a tackle in here and win it back and counter? Probably not. Here's Christian Eriksen and Bent. Oh, blazes it over, fortunately. Might be time to make some more subs. I, I think Deli Alley will come off. I'm going to bring on Ashley Westwood. He's going to play as a, a deep line playmaker, defend. And Will Prowse will move up to advanced playmaker support. I think we'll do that for now. Another free kick to Denmark, headed away. Ericsson's obviously very deadly from set pieces, so we do have to be careful we don't give away too many free kicks on the edge of the box. Here he is again, looking dangerous. He's pulling the strings, and good defending by Dian. Fodderingham surely can clear here and get it up the pitch, but we've just given the ball back, which is poor. Rose, uh-oh, is this going to be a red? Is it a really bad tackle? Uh, just a yellow card. <laughs> the tension. Ugh. And it's a free kick straight away from Ericsson. Westwood does well to be switched on but they're back in the game it's 3-2 uh, frustrating quite frustrating they've had more shots than us and I guess they've been the better team statistically and it's a, a, a pretty free header and Fodderingham couldn't really do much about that another free kick Ericsson whips it in Fodderingham collects it quite easily and it's pumped up the pitch Ward Prowse can't win the ball Ward does well there into Pritchard Ward Prowse over the top Danny Ings is onto it. Ings, come on, please. Ah, oh, nah. Two attempts from him, and he couldn't find the back of the net. I'm actually going to take him off. I'm going. To, he's, he's played well generally, but I'm going to bring on Troy Deeney, and he's going to play as a, a defensive forward. And we're just going to try and hold on to this 3-2 win, I guess. Oh no, another corner headed away by Troy Deeney back there doing his job. Ericsson. Oh. They have been deadly from set pieces. It's a it's a Cooper own goal. Poor Jake. Their set pieces have just resulted in goals. And that is unfortunate. And it's 3-3. And I'm going to go back to 
to attacking, which maybe I should have left it on originally. But we have to be careful we don't lose this game now. We are going to go a bit more direct, I think. Go high tempo. Go more direct, be more expressive. And I will also change Dini to a target man, I think. Pritch has picked up a knock now, and I really hope he's not out for the rest of the tournament. That really will be a blow. I'm going to have to keep him on, though. Oh, this, it's, it was so positive at one point in this game, a couple points in this game, and it's unfortunately gone a bit downhill. We're going to have to win against Serbia, I think, and try and get something against Italy to go through this group. We are second best on the day. Eight shots to their 16, 45% possession. Hmm. Need to think about this. Need to sort it out ahead of the Serbia game. So it looks like it's going to finish... 3-3, lots of goals, good game for the neutrals. Colin, you didn't do the job for me, come on. We need something better against Serbia. A free kick to, oh, I thought that was going to be a last gasp goal for Denmark, but fortunately we hold on. Not to worry, I'm going to say unlucky, just to try and keep the confidence up of the players. So yeah, certainly the second second best team in this, in this match, but encouraging that we're doing quite well on the counter. I'm actually going to change the tactic for that reason. We're going to play counter. Because we did so well in that game playing counter. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to play... We're going to do the same thing as we were doing. But we're going to have a normal... Def maybe slightly deeper defensive line? No, normal defensive line. And I'm going to turn get stuck in. Because we are committing far too many fouls and giving away free kicks in dangerous positions. Well, this is a blow. Pritchard's out for three weeks, which will probably mean he's going to miss the rest of the tournament, unless we get to the final or something. That is a blow. Such a good start from him in that game. He's our best player. Goal and an assist, 8.2. Looking really good. And he's out. So in the other group game, Italy left it late to beat Serbia. Just 1-0. Gabbi uh, Gabby, Gabby Adini, that's right, scored in the 92nd minute. And Scotland beat France 3-2. Wow, amazing win for them. Two red cards for France, though. Right then, Serbia. I've made a few changes. I've decided to bring Luke Steele into the team. I don't. I wouldn't say Fodderingham was, was at fault for any of the goals against Denmark, but I've decided to go for a change in goal, and Luke Steele is going to make his third appearance for England. Joel Ward still at right back. Eric Dyer. Scott Dan is coming into the team despite, despite, despite still needing a rest but I think he's a better option than Jake Cooper. Aaron Creswell's going to stay at left-back because Danny Rose didn't play too well at left-back either, let's be honest, in that second half. Mark Noble in defensive midfield again. Need a better performance from him today, actually. Ashley Westwood's come in for Ward-Prowse, who's a bit tired, so I just to give him a rest against Serbia. Deli Ali still in midfield. Antonio is replacing the injured Pritchard. And Ibe is going to stay as the inside forward with Danny Ng staying up front as well. May bring Callum Wilson off the bench in this game if need be. We do need a win today. They're playing quite a defensive tactic. There are two defensive midfielders. I know we played Germany and Spain, I think, played that formation. Seems to be a popular formation at international level for some reason. I'm going to say, apparently we can potentially secure qualifications. So I'm going to say that. That often well, hasn't boosted the team. I, I guess the players still aren't used to me as manager. Start match. Okay, let's see how my new ta counter tactic works against Serbia. Here they go early on. Are they going to get an early goal here? Wow, what a run. Oh my days. What? <laughs> that was after 15 seconds. What the hell? Oh dear. It was always going to be tough, wasn't it, this series? This idea. But that is awful. Terrible start to the game. Okay, a corner. Headed away, Danny Ings, back out wide to Creswell, crosses it in, oh, Ibe, can he get another cross back and it's back to Mark Noble, into Westwood, Ali, great ball to Antonio, great goal, brilliant finish from him, and a lovely assist, that's his first goal for England, let's see this again then, Westwood back to Ali, what a brilliant pass, and Antonio with a fantastic side-footed finish over the keeper into the into the corner. Lovely goal. So at half time, it is 1 1. Nothing else happened in that first half. Pretty boring stuff. I don't really know what to say to the players. Let's go for that. And that's boosted some of the, the players' confidence. Danny Ings is looking nervous. I'm actually going to bring on Callum Wilson on. 
for the second half and see what he can do. Creswell wants a game playing poorly. Dyer's not having a great game. The defence generally isn't having a great game uh, statistically and uh, average rating wise. We're going to we're going to go attacking. We need to win this game. I have to go attacking for that reason. And we will let's go for whipped crosses into the box for Callum Wilson to try and get on the end of. Okay, highlight right at the set start of the second half. It probably will be a non-highlight. Here goes Deli Ali though. Great ball, and there's the end of the highlight. Corner to Serbia, then headed away by Deli Ali. He does well. We can't get. Oh, we do. Scott Dan, can he break into Callum Wilson? Callum Wilson into Ibe. Can he find some Westwood? Lovely ball out wide to Antonio. Ah, oh, we and they're, now they're countering. We're unlucky there, and I bet this is going to be a goal. Oh, brilliant defending by Eric Dyer there at the near post. We're currently second in the group, but Italy and Denmark still have to play. And if Denmark get a good result against Italy, it's going to be hard for us to qualify. And they've won another corner. I'm nervous. Head it away. Oh, it's wide, fortunately. Time to make some subs. Ives not played particularly well and is very tired. I'm going to bring on... Yeah, I'm going to bring on Tom Ince on the left. And we'll save the, the last sub for later, just in case. Okay, Serbia on the ball again. Looking dangerous. Looking very dangerous. How did that not go in? I don't know. Deli Ali does well. Good tackle into Tom Ince. Can we break now on the counter? Down the left with Tom Ince. Good tackle. I don't know what to do. I... Uh... I think I need to change something, but I'm not really sure what. Creswell is having a really bad game, considering he's meant to be the best player. In terms of role ability at, the, at this current moment in time, he's the best player on paper. But Danny Rose is going to come on for him at left back again. See if we can make a difference. I'm actually going to set them to attack the fullbacks. I'm going to swap Antonio and Ince. And we're going to go fluid attacking. We're going to go a bit more direct, I think. Yeah, more direct. Clear ball to flanks. Look for overlap. Just going to try different things, really, to try and break Serbia down and get the win that we really need today. Well, it's going to finish a really boring 1-1, I'm afraid, guys. After the early frantic start to the game, it's been pretty dull and disappointing and... Are we going to be able to qualify? We're going to surely have to get a result against Italy to qualify from this group. If Italy beat Denmark and then Denmark lose against Serbia, we could go through on like two points. Or I think we need at least a draw against Italy, to be honest. So Italy beat Denmark, which does mean that Denmark and Serbia are on one point. We're on two. Italy are on six. They've already qualified. That may help us get a win against them and then qualify for the next round. It's still in our hands. If we win, we're through. Here we go then. England versus Italy. Denmark versus Serbia. It's at the same time. Eight o'clock kickoff in France. Who's going to go through? Any team can go through, actually. Uh, Italy are already through. So hopefully that means that they're going to be a little bit easy on us. Maybe playing a second string as well. Look at my team. They are completely knackered. We need to make changes, unfortunately. Otherwise... We're just going to be dead, aren't we? I'm going to play James Ward Prowse instead. Dali Alley's played very well. No, I'm going to play, I'm going to stick with Dali Alley. Ward Prowse will. Ward Prowse is going to play on the right wing, and Antonio is going to play as an inside forward. I'm going to stick with Danny Ings up front, and I'm going to stick with the. I'm actually hmm, right back. Let's try Trippier. Trippier is going to play instead of Joel Ward today. Joel Ward's not been bad, but. Let's try him. And I'm going to play Tom Heaton instead of Luke Still. So I've tried all keepers out in the group stage. So as you would expect, Italy are favourites for this game. It'd be amazing if we could go through after drawing all three games, which is possible. If Denmark draw against Serbia, we can go through if we get a draw against Italy. You can see here, Italy game with a, a classic Italian formation there, I would say. I really hope it's not a boring game. Well, I wouldn't mind a 1-0 win to us and it'd be boring, but um, I really hope they don't go crazy on us and score a few goals because it would be nice to continue this campaign, the Euro 2016 campaign. To be honest, if I get 
if I um, lose this game, I'll probably be sacked anyway, so there won't actually be an option of going through to the, the World Cup, and it makes the straw poll in the description below a bit irrelevant, but let's see what happens. All I can do is do my best and try and win this game as best as possible. I'm going to go attacking. I think I have to go attacking, especially against the formation they are playing. I'm going to hit early crosses into the, the box for Ings, and I'm going to do low crosses for Danny Ings. Let's see if that makes a difference. Let's start the match. We just need it's just been pretty boring. Like the game against Serbia was boring. The game against Denmark so many goals uh, even though we didn't have a particularly good shots ratio. Injury to James Ward Prowse. Oh no. I hope this isn't another blow. I'm going to bring on Jordan Ibe on the right-hand side. Sam Byram hasn't played yet, has he? Is he the only player that hasn't played? No, Michael Keane hasn't played, has he? Okay, confirm. Matic has been sent off for Serbia, by the way. But it's still 0-0, so we're still going through, just about. Well, it's 0-0. This is the most boring game I've ever seen. I'm going to say I'm ha un I, am I am unhappy, because I am. I'm going to bring Danny Youngs off for Callum Wilson. He's going to play as a complete forward. I'm going to just change things up. Antonio's going to go over to the right. I have over to the left. Let's go fluid. Let's go more direct. I'm going to whip the. I'm going to float the crosses in actually, and we're going to look for overlap. I'm going to get Creswell to attack and Trippier to attack. I just. We just need to get a goal. Calm my nerves. We've had one shot in the whole game, so I'm going to click. Where is it? I want what shoot on sight. There we go. Shoot on sight is required. We've had one shot. And Serbia, oh no, it's 1-1 between Serbia and Denmark. Denmark just equalised. So we're still going through, just about. One more sub. Uh, Deli Alli's knackered. Antonio's not having a great game. I'm going to bring him off for Tomins and leave Deli Alli on to fight on. This is definitely the most boring game I've had on FM16 yet. We have just done nothing. And Italy have done nothing. There's been no highlights. But we are still going through as it stands. Denmark 1, Serbia 1. If we hold on to 0-0 and Denmark-Serbia stay 1-1, we're through. But here go Italy. Can Trippier break here? Let's confirm it. Up the pitch to Callum Wilson. Come on, Wilson. Come on, Callum. Oh, he's hit it wide. The first highlight of the game. Hug me, Colin. Hug me. I need you. A highlight right at the end of the game. This is going to be heartbreak for us. Into Callum Wilson. Out wide to Tom Ince. Can we confirm it? Jordan, I... What a goal! Oh my, what a goal from Jordan Ibe. I mean, that was in 2D, but I'm pretty sure this is a spectacular goal. Let's watch this then. Tom Ince lobs it over Jordan Ibe. What a volley. That is some volley. Oh, beautiful. And he sent me through. Serbia have just taken the lead, but surely we can hang on here against Italy and go through to the second round. We do, we're in the second round. The last gust goal from Serbia doesn't matter because it's Jordan Ibe's spectacular goal and we've beaten the toughest team in the group. We're through. And now, well, how far can we go? How far do you think I can go, guys? That is the end of today's episode. We've had three games. We've managed to get through the groups. And... I just want to actually have a look at the, the other groups, actually. I will show you who's in the second round in at the start of the next episode. But thank you so much for watching this. Please hit the like button. I have managed to scrape through with a... What a goal from Jordan I have to send me through. I love him. He's been the top scorer in the series. He's been really good for me. Oh, amazing. Remember to vote in the straw poll and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well as to the future of the series. That would be much appreciated. Make sure you watch episode 8 when I will be playing the second round. I don't know who I'm playing, but I'll be playing in the second round, that's for sure. Thanks, guys. See you soon.